Shall we play a game? Oh my god, that's loud. Or it's loud to me anyway. I think mine's louder than what the stream has. Okay, now I gotta remember. Because I was doing a lot of talking at the end of the last stream. I don't remember exactly what I was needing to do, but. Oh, that's right. I think. I went over and checked out this area. And did I go check out this area? Oh, I went in through here. That's right. Went in through here. Then went, there's a shortcut to here. This is the other one. But this was something too. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can get to that. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's... What am I... Okay, so I got some stuff on me. That's my stuff. Um. Oh, it's probably some of this stuff. Cut this some of this stuff down some. Uh. Hmm. Mm, that's pretty good. Hmm. What is this five? What's this? I don't want to get rid of that stuff. This one's shock, and I want to get rid of a couple of those. Mm, get rid of a couple of those. Get rid of half of those. <clears throat> Those don't weigh anything, really. Really interested to boost that one up, what it's like.
Let's boost this one. I definitely won that round. You always seem to. And just have some fun. Good old fun. Mm, should I waste it on that though? Do not put that one on. We already have one on, Donna. Yeah, I don't want to change that. Extend the site. Mm. The difference of thing. Hmm. All right. Uh -huh. That's because I'm usually right. Next time I want the scorecard. So where should I place it? <clears throat> and I'm really going all plasma here. Oh, wait. I didn't tinker this one, did I? No, I just modded it. I'll go one though. See, this is what I'm interested in. Damage 318, 717. Even though the DPS is low. I don't understand that, but. Okay. Let's put it in this snipe spot. I'm using this one to snipe right now. All right, save. Guess I'll go out with the same people I had. Yeah, because I'm using her sneak. Hmm. Hmm. So. I could probably get into there now. Guess I could just go hit that one real quick, huh? Um, let's let's take the elevator down. I mean, the elevator up, because. There might be people there, and I don't want to fast travel into some. Is there any out there? Yep. I forgot that's how this one worked. That's right. It had to spin up, basically. Hmm. We'll see. Because a snipe. A sniper rifle. I could have probably done those a lot quicker. Not having to wait for it to spin up. Can we? Do that again. 
See that I'm getting the same, just about the same amount of hits, which is like low two thousands, somewhere around there. And I don't have to wait for a spin up. So that might have been a waste. Oh well. I can hip shoot this one too. Can jump over. What the hell is that? Can jump over a curb. So I still don't have that. Okay. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Could have been in here a long time ago. Wait, so why is it giving me that then? Oh, I'm up top. Wait, where am I? Wait, where the hell? Okay, I am at top, up top. So maybe, maybe the key might be in here though. Let's see. Sorry, guys, I was going through the window. Strangest place to set up a workstation. Are these? I don't remember getting any of these before.
Mal. Maybe not. <clears throat> Maybe this room is nothing? It seems weird. Second. Okay. Let me make sure. Oh, no, that's the way I came. So I guess I could go through this area. I'll just keep going through here. To the other way, I think last time. Been a machine. Um... 
No. 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 Quick save. I was going this way, then take a left. <clears throat> and I know there's quite, I know there's people there. I remember. You hiding? Oh. Come out and play. I remember being, I thought there was more than this last time. This rifle was ridiculous. It hit so hard. That's what's so messed up about this. Whenever you look at these, majority of the time you want to go with the DPS. <coughs> The damage is 496. I guess. Um, let's try this one. What I was really using as my sniper rifle before the hunter rifle. It's the way I'm wanting to go, yeah. That's not even the one I need to go to. I'm going to go down there. All right, let's go in here then. It's going to be a shortcut. This might be leading up. Yeah? Unless, and this is important, the game's in the third half. 
In that case, a good six-pack knows how to pivot towards a fence in case the other team runs the field. I'm even more confused now. I'm just gonna turn my brain off and try to enjoy it. Also the slogan of the Antiquio Darlings. Okay, that's just a different route to... Sure, I can't get in anywhere over here. Oh, oh shit! Sorry. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> yeah, if you if I if I miss something, if I miss something, just do one of those. Do GTA or Rage or something that's going to trigger that if you and also if you well if you spell that which is h and i so if you do if you were to do hi or hey like hey jsod or hi jsod or hello jsod what the f are you doing in here which then that will trigger me someone just came in the chat also so if i don't if i if you say something and i don't respond like now it's going to be easier because now, um, you know, you're, you're in here. So now it's more along my eyesight. So if something pops up on here, I can see it. So I know something said, but like I said before, whenever someone first, before anyone starts chatting, it's way up here. And I, sometimes I miss it, especially early on in my strings. Ready when you are. And then I also implemented um, Yeah, I went So like a lot of times If I'm not streaming And I'm just <clears throat> Playing a game or something I got to have something else on. I got to have noise going in because, you know, I guess I got, um, what, what's it, ten, tinnitus or whatever, you know, there, I get, I have the ringing in my ears. I think it's probably because of the server rooms and the computers and stuff and loud music, um, growing up or whatever, but, um, I always have to have something on and I, I and I'll go on I'll go on stuff. Uh, how was it? Did you like it? I still haven't watched that one. I'm not a big comic guy, but I do enjoy most of the Marvel movies. <clears throat> I do like the Avengers ones. Um, and I got on a kick of like, I, I'll play it. I'll play the first one. Then I'll just play the second one right after it. Then I'll play the third one right after that. And then you know, um, Infinity War than in games. And I kind of do that a lot of times where there's something going on in the background because it helps me forget about my ears ringing. 
And um, I'll do that like with Harry Potter because it's just easy to like, you know, I, and whenever, you know, whenever you finish one, a lot of times they'll suggest the part two or something. And so I can just click it and then continue doing whatever I'm doing. Oh, it's a series, isn't it? Oh, that's right. I think that's why I didn't, I hadn't watched it yet. But yeah, it makes it easier just to like, instead of having a movie to watch, have a franchise to watch, and then you just play one and you, you can just keep going. You doing all right? I also implemented, I don't know if you see it. Uh, if you go to the abouts in my, where is it? Hang on one second. You doing all right? It's not true. It's yeah. bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I implemented those. Uh, I was I was messing around, and I noticed uh, with extensions. I, I I saw something which I was curious if Twitch had those extensions, and I saw a Lumia. Uh, stream extension and I was like oh I wonder what that does because I have Lumia stream for my lights and stuff whenever you when certain things are done and um, I saw that and I knew about the overlay thing but I didn't realize that they had implemented it um, so well with the other stuff and um, so I was checking that out and I was like well that'd be fun That'd be something else that people could, you know, interact with on the stream. And you can do the lights. I didn't really do the lights, uh, except for Ron Swanson stuff. Um, I wish you would have told me that. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I implemented the the rave effect on the light whenever that one kicks in. There are the other ones I didn't bother with. Um but that one had made more sense. But I, that didn't I mean I, what it uh, what it what it ended up being was I, I procrastinated to something I wanted to do, and I came across that and started messing with that. So it wasn't like I was gonna do something else and I didn't do it, and um, man, I don't watch any UFCs. Not not that I just. No, 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 no. It, I just don't. I mean, I don't have, I don't bother with it. I don't keep up with it. Um, you know, it's just, I used to, but like, I don't know. It's just, that I just don't really. Now, boxing. Yeah, I used to watch boxing a lot too. Um. And I still don't mind watching boxing for whatever reason. I, I'm not saying that there's more art, like more of an art to boxing, but to me, it seems. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, there, I just. But of course, I'm talking about 
a decade ago or something. I haven't watched anything recently at all. But you got to understand, too, or it, whenever UFC came out, uh, we watched the hell out of it. And that's because um, before UFC was UFC, they had what I liked, which was they had all the different fight styles that fought one another. So you had karate against boxing. You had, you know, like uh, Horace Gracie and this Brazilian jiu-jitsu, which no one heard of. And he was, you know, pimping it out, saying it was the best. And, and you know, all that stuff, that was what was it. That, like, the first couple, and, like, that's how the fighting style was, you know? And uh, that, to me, was interesting, you know? Um like having the different fight styles fight one another to see who was victorious. And, uh, and then when it, when it, when it started going into, uh, more of like UFC fighters creating a fight style, not, not right away, but like, like Chuck was probably when I, when I kind of slowed down and stopped watching, it was after, um, what was his last name? Chuck, uh, I can't think of his name. Anyway, um, and then I just, I just didn't, you know, I mean, a lot of things, you know, like I don't watch near as much football as I, American football as much as I, uh, used to you know i don't you know whenever whenever the live whenever i went off um uh, our cable and pretty much got internet even though now you can get it's getting easier and easier to get it or watch that stuff um i still don't because i'm usually doing something else you know <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I was real young and my dad meeting up with his brothers and like, um, I want to say, I might be wrong, but I think it was Sugar Ray Leonard and uh, the Duran fight. And it was like on just regular TV. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure cable was out, but, you know, it wasn't as prevalent as it is now. And, uh, and I was young, but I remember them like playing cards and the fight being on and stuff like that. We went to his, my uncle's house. I love like, if you're, if you're asking me like growing up when I was young, I loved Sugar Ray Leonard. Like, I mean, just absolutely loved him. And then when I got into high school, Mike Tyson came around. I was like, holy shit. And uh, I remember back in the day, um, I think it was late, eight, or it might have been mid-80s. Or, or Yeah, mid to late 80s. And um, <clears throat> I don't know if they do it, you know, in Europe and or the stations, but a lot of times like in America – um you'll have like um like each channel will have like a national news thing or they used to like 30 minutes and then the local news will come on and um and i remember on the national news when i can't remember i think it was cbs uh they did this chart at the very end they would tell this like good story um like something when they signed off for before the local news started and it's usually not long and it, i remember it being about mike tyson he was like 17 years old uh and they were telling like his short little story um and stuff like that and i remember that and then like a year later he was a champion <laughs> it was ridiculous
Yeah, it, I, I'll 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 go back and watch some of them. Like I remember, I don't remember if I watched it live or if it was a rerun, but I remember um, uh, Hagler and Hearn's fight, which is like considered one of the best fights. I remember, and I think it was one of the shortest fights or something. I can't remember if it was live, but I remember, you know, it might have been a rerun. But I think each person, when they're grow, like when you're growing up, you're going to pick, you know, what they consider their favorite or the best boxer or something like that. Like people before me, of course. They're saying Muhammad Ali, then me, I would say like Tyson because it was during, you know, whenever I was growing. It's the same thing with Saturday Night Live almost. It's like SNL is like people like, oh, this version was better than that version. And this version was, you know, and so on and so on. I will I will say uh, the uh, mid 80s, the late 80s SNL sucked. So, <laughs> but anyway. Did you, you said you watched some of the old MMAs. Did you watch the old, old ones? The ones with like Gracie and, and those guys. I had a big fan. I had a, um, I had a friend that was a big, um, was it K1? I don't even know if it's around anymore, if they still have it. But I remember in, um, you had like, um, you had Peter Arts, I think was his name. And he had that big axe kick, which it blew me away every time he was able to pull that and knock someone out because it was like no one ever saw it come in and as quick as he was um uh who was who was some of the other ones uh god i can't remember that guy's name peter arts um yeah because he was real popular in japan i think the Lumberjack, I think that was what his nickname was. Um, I remember, I, I'm not going to lie, because um, whenever that UFC came out and that fight, the, the fighting and stuff came out, um, I didn't like Gracie. Uh, at first, because when you, when you're er, when you're er, in your early twenties, you're wanting to see some bitches get knocked out, and he was making everybody submit, you know. And to me, I looked at it as being like boring, um, you know, because I wanted to see knockouts and stuff, you know, being a young guy. And then uh, after he would win them, you know, then I slowly started appreciating what, I, I forgot who he beat. He beat someone that was like double his weight or something. It was ridiculous and made him submit. And at that point is when um, I was like, yeah, no, 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 no. But you got to understand you, hang on, though. You got to understand, you know that's his style because it's been around for decades. When he came out with that, no one knew that style, right? It was completely new. And his whole point of, of doing the tournament was to show the world how, how uh, strong this style was. So no one knew Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you know, 
And that was what he was trying to show off was like, look, it's it's the same thing as uh uh like when people like similar to like Bruce Lee with Jeet Kune Do, right? He was tr- he was explaining people how his uh, n- not all the time, but he he could explain why his fighting style was probably more superior to other fighting styles, you know? No, yeah, exactly. It's it's pretty much if if, if I mean, honestly, though, it's pretty much UFC's MMA fighting style. I mean, if you're going to be real about it, I mean, the entire fighting style is Gracie's. Gracie came up with it. Yeah, and that's what's so sick about it is that he was trying to prove it, and he proved it, and then the whole world went to it, and then, or, you know, at least uh, the UFC fighters went to it because they needed to to win but yeah so yeah when it first came out it just looked strange to us who were wanting knockouts i mean we were young guys mid-20s we wanted knockouts bro oh yeah jarcy yeah i I remember he was early on too wasn't he gsp Yeah, but he was like he was an uh, he was like uh, oh Chuck Liddell. That's what I'm thinking of. Chuck Liddell. I couldn't remember his last name. That's when I started. Um, I didn't watch. I, I stopped. I didn't watch it quite as much as I used to. It was after his stuff. But, yeah. And it's not like I just, you know, it fell out. It's the same thing. Oh, shit. Um. And, and, um. Not saying like, oh, you're going to do this for sure or whatever, but you'll see as you, um, like, as you get older, you know, things that you might used to do, you don't do as much or something like that, you know. So um, it's the same thing. It might not do it as much as you because you're a musician, but like music is kind of the same way, you know, you have certain styles you listen to when you were younger or, you know, that you did. So yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying now because you're. But I'm saying eventually, and it won't happen. Like, you won't really notice a difference. And, I, and like I said, I'm not saying about music, but I'm saying like. You know, I'm saying much older, decades from now. It's just certain things might not interest you as much as they did when you were younger, type of thing. Like me, like the same as with me, or like. UFC or American football or even baseball. I mean, there were certain other reasons why I didn't. But, um, like, my favorite team growing up, they moved from Houston, Texas to Tennessee. Um, and that, that almost killed it for me for American football. And I would play fantasy football every so often. Um, and I enjoyed it, and we there's another Houston team here, but I don't have the same affection that I have for it that I did for the team whenever I grew up with, the team I grew up with. So that kind of killed American or, you know, football for me. Yeah, and, and 
that's what I'm. That's what I meant by saying that the, on the music side of it. Uh, oh wait, let me do this. Then do that. Oh shit! I shouldn't have done that. It had already started. I gotta wait till it finishes. Um, because you being a musician, you're probably gonna keep, you know, it's, you know. Um, stay in the know, I guess you could say, about it. I mean, I'll still listen to new music. I'm not start, I'm not saying that, but I just don't listen. I don't. I don't take in as much. Um. <laughs> uh, I like that. Oh shit! What time is it? I'm low on my battery. So actually, um. I'm going to be right back. Be right back, Tim.
still can't get into here. Why does that one go away? Okay. This is the road I came down. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, all I was saying was, um, um, is that it'll happen gradually, but, like, I didn't really notice it, you know, until, like, a year or two ago. I mean, I did kind of notice it. But what I'm saying is a lot of times is you'll just like, you deal with music, so it's probably not going to happen to you as much. But like me personally, I don't listen to near as much new music as I used to when I was younger. Um, but then again, but man, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have, you know, there's a bunch of shit we didn't have fighting for our attention you know, so I listened to a ton of music and watched a ton of movies, you know, so, you know, it's a little, you know, it's a little, it's a little different. Um, you know, when you have so few things to grab your attention, you know, so. Yeah, if I were to give you any, like, don't try, I mean. It's gonna, you're, it's gonna like happen a little bit, but try to hold on to that, like that excitement and that, you know, I guess that vigor of like living and, and experiencing new stuff and stuff like that. I still kind of do it. I just don't do it to the degree that I did when I was younger. I want to know how I get up there. How do I get up there? Can I get on this? All right, my in. Appreciate you stopping by. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna know get up there. All right, let's go. Obviously. I think it's probably something from the inside that you access from up there, maybe. Oh, well, let's see. Um, wait, is this down, down below, isn't it? Let's go down there. 
And then we'll go across. That's the shortcut. This is the good guys. Exactly like phones. And I say you're wrong. Talk to my first mate if you have questions. Llama. Oh, where's your first mate? Oh. I'm telling you, this isn't the rock. We need to turn back. This is the spot. Now keep your eyes peeled. The dead drop is at the foot of the alpaca, he said. And this <laughs> is the alpaca. Llama. What was that? It's a llama we're after, sir. Not an alpaca. Yeah, some? This is neither. Llama, alpaca, same thing. <clears throat> llama. They aren't the same at all, sir. Some hard, some shows are hard to binge for me. We've got company. Out with it, then. Who are you? Like, uh, Breaking Bad. <clears throat> I couldn't binge it. To me, it was so hard to binge watch that show. Are you the survivors from that crash ship by the landing pad? I'm the captain of that crashed vessel, to be perfectly accurate. Why start now? What was that, first mate? Just talking to myself again, sir. We're on the hunt for a package. It's supposed to be at the foot of this handsome-looking alpaca-shaped rock. Llama? Yeah, I, 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 that's how I would watch, man. Ever since, like... Ooh. 17 2017 16 maybe i would just go nuts watching the binge i would just binge stuff and um i tried to binge watch breaking bad and i can't remember what season it was but i had to take a break like i took a month break but when i say binge like i mean like stupid binge like <clears throat> I came in late to the Game of Thrones. So I came in whenever, um, I think it was close to the end of season six. Or, I think, I can't remember. But a weekend, a week, and a weekend, I'd started from one and caught all the way up. So I'd watched like six seasons in a week. <laughs> so I was kind of doing the same thing with Breaking Bad, but Breaking Bad, I, just to me, it's just not a binge show because I, I it was it was kind of depressing, and you know it's you know I just think it's rough to binge. So I binge that one up to a certain season, and then I took like a month off from watching it, and then came back and finished it out, but not as not not as much, just like. Maybe, you know, two or three episodes or something like that. Yeah, I could see that. If you saw, um, if you saw season one of True Detective, a lot of that was actually filmed near where I live, actually. It took place in Louisiana, but some of the stuff they filmed was over in Texas. Um, 
And so, um, I mean, I don't know where, I can't remember where they said it took place in Louisiana, but there were certain aspects that they shot in Texas. The bar scene. Um, God, I can't, Pine Tree Lodge, I think, Pine Top Lodge. Or, oh, did I? Okay, I thought I, I, thought I did. I, it sounded familiar. I was like, in the back of my head, I was like, this sounds familiar. Have I, have, I, has I, have I mentioned? Because to be honest, I think you're one of the few ones that actually watched True Detective that I've discussed it with on the stream. I actually need to, uh, because it didn't get the rave reviews the other seasons, I didn't actually go back to it. But is it worth a watch? I, like, I watched season one, but was it, it's three seasons, right? Okay. But you just enjoyed it anyway. You just... <clears throat> Where does two and three take place? Where are the locations that? What? Oh, bother. I'll have to negotiate with Sublight now, and they're even more stubborn than this petrified llama. This? This is not a rock shaped like a llama. This is a fossil shaped like a fossil. Captain. Could it be the fossil of a llama? I highly doubt that. Can you believe this guy? Okay. I thought two was LA, but I couldn't remember. Or California. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is two the one with is two the one with Vince Vaughn? Or is three the one with Vince Vaughn? Thank you. Hey, I do the talking around here. This is the right spot. I know it in my gut. But well, there's no package, and now my crew is insubordinate. I don't remember this. I guess I'll just go ahead and show it. I told you. Didn't I tell you? How many times did I tell you, Captain? I... I believe I owe you an apology, First Mate. What? It's true. I wouldn't know an alpaca from a raptodon, and as a captain, that's a mark against my good name. Can you ever forgive me? Llama. I don't know what to say. I'll start. Thank you, stranger. <laughs> you idiots couldn't find toes at the end of your feet. This is a farce. Hmm. Maybe you should listen to your crew from now on. I think you're right. What is a crew if not people who can remedy a captain's flaws now and then? Indeed. And some of them have many, many flaws. Yeah. Hey. That's why you keep me around, right? You need me smoothing out your rough edges. Well, thanks, Captain. Let's say we head over to the Sprat Shack and I'll buy the first round just to show there's no hard feelings. Llama. Here's my cut. <laughs> I'd say you've earned it. And here's a little something extra for your time.
pleasure was mine, first mate. Be seeing you, and thanks again. Mama! Um, I don't even know what quest that was. I was going to say, detective, you mean McConaughey? You mean... <laughs> okay. Oh, oh Mc Rachel's in with Vince Vaughn on two. And Colin Farrell. Okay. So that does make sense then. I thought the Vince Vaughn one took place in Cali, but I, I didn't realize it was the second one. I thought I was for some reason I was thinking it was the third one. I love McConaughey. Well, he's a Texas guy, so, you know. Ah, oh, yeah, Days and Confused. It was a little before my time, and even my brother, well, actually, it was quite a bit before my time. It was closer to my older brother, uh, my oldest brother's time. Um, Still not, it was still... A, a few years before him also but he had a 69 gto like the whole muscle car scene that they show in dazed and confused existed with my older brother um it didn't really exist like it had kind of waned out to whenever i got into high school but when he was in high school uh that atmosphere environment um was extremely prevalent the whole muscle cars and he had a 69 gto my brother had a 68 chevelle um there was a there was a street um in the next town or i say next town but it was there like one town's here right like one town's here let's wait okay one town's here then there's a street and then the next town's like right across the street right it's just they're they're right next to it. There's like three three cities that way or four cities that way around where I live. Anyway, they had the drag and they would like people in their muscle cars would like, you know, teenagers in high school and they would go down the drag. And they had Sonic drive in like the drive in that they had it in Days of Confused. But whenever I got into high school. It wasn't necessarily that way um, because you lost a lot of the. Um, um, you had parents that I, the kids that I went to school with, their parents had the, the disposable income to purchase some a nicer car or a newer car. Not saying they didn't exist. There was a bunch of cars there. Um, I didn't have one because I had to pay, pay for my own car. So I, I, I don't know if I ever told you this. My first car was a 66 Volkswagen Beetle, which I I wish I still had. It was an awesome little car. I tore it up. Um, It was such a, a workhorse, man. Like, especially the way I drove. And um, it hardly ever broke down on me. And uh. I'll give you an example. During my time period, it wasn't necessarily muscle cars. It was car stereos that were huge. So the whole wolfers and tweeters and you having a badass car s sound system, that was more important than the muscle car part. And so um, it kind of transitioned and I had, I had a brother between us um, and he was like caught in the middle of it. The one with the 68 Chevelle. Um, and so they were still muscle cars, but by the time I, my, I was a few years later, by the time I came through, 
it wasn't necessarily the case. But my point being is that my car uh, was a, a six volt. It was six volt, not even 12 volt. So a six volt, no radio, none of that stuff um, um, that I purchased for $300. One of the reasons was the guy didn't think it ran. So uh, my brother and my dad talked him down. And then as they were pulling it back to the house, it's standard, of course, right? So uh, as they were pulling it, my brother popped the clutch and it actually started. And so my brother drove it home following my dad. I was at, I think I was at work or something. I can't remember why I, why I wasn't there to pick it up. I think I was at work. And I was working at, I was working actually at a Sonic drive-in. Um, but my, uh, amplifier, my car amp to this, to my stereo costs 375. So my amplifier to my stereo costs $75 more than my car. <laughs> and then I purchased my friend thought his 15 inch Wolfers, uh, were were busted so i bought because i was like it's a 66 bug all i could use is one you know i could use one it'd be loud enough and when my brother my other brother looked at it he was like nah man it's just the dust cover you could just silicone that so we siliconed it let it dry i had two 15 inch wolfers in that little ass car <laughs> that might be why my ears are ringing now greg <laughs> It was so loud. Oh, man. My brother's GTO that he bought that they purchased way back when. This is like well, whatever it was, the 80s. He bought their the GTO for 900 bucks, and then he worked on it. It did everything to it. Painted, painted it candy apple red, put some mags on it, redid the interior. Um, but my dad was a bricklayer. My mom would work every, you know, off and on. So we didn't have a ton of money uh, growing up. So that's why, you know, we had to purchase our own vehicles and stuff like that. It's a lot different now. You know, like all my brothers bought their kids, their cars, brand new, actually. Hey, I'll be honest with you. You might get it at a cheaper price here, Greg, but you're still going to pay. They just go for what I was going to get to was my brother um, bought that car for 900 bucks. Then he, he, he would like to get that same type of car again and either one to work on or something like that. And even here to get one, what he wants, uh, a 69 GTO, it was still like, would that was going to still need work was like 17,000 you know so it's not just in front i mean i i know it, it's going to cost more because of it, you know being an american muscle car overseas in europe but it's still it's like it's not they just you could you know and especially if they're in good shape If they're cleaned up, good shape, they'll cost damn near what a new car costs, if not more. Or a good new car, because you can get a you can get a new car for cheap. Or you know, a cheap new car. But yeah, it's and that and that's what like me and my brother were talking one time about it and how we kick ourselves in the ass of you know like like you're young and you're bought your car and you're doing this stuff and then you're going it off my brother got rid of hits because he went in the army i got rid of mine because i went in the army and it was like why didn't our parents go you might want to hold on to this <laughs> you know like especially his because his eventually was gonna you probably get 
good cash for it because what he got for it is just stupid. Like he got, if he had that car nowadays, he'd get four times what he sold it for. Yeah, we did. Uh, that was like one of the things my dad, like how he was, you know, like we had, we got it. Didn't matter what it was. Um, but we had to, we had to sand it. We had to, he might, they might help do certain things or buy something to get it running. If we didn't have the money, you know, to get it running, but anything else we had to purchase. Holy shit. Um, you mentioned a Mustang. I, when I went to look for mine, uh, we ran across, I think it was a 68 Mustang. Me and my brother, you know, years ago. And um, I was thinking, you know, it was going to be like, like a thousand dollars or something like that. Um, and, and you know, it's still 20 years. You know, it still hasn't made that cusp of being, and it wasn't even a muscle car. It was just a regular Mustang. Uh, but, it, you know, there's a certain period, right, where um, they're they're popular, they're expensive, and then it kind of, like, levels off a little bit, and then it gets beyond that classic car or becomes a classic car, and then it shoots back up again, right? So I was writing that lull thinking, oh, this is probably only going to be like a thousand bucks or, you know, maybe fifteen hundred. And Brad was like, no, nah, I don't think you're going to be able to afford this. And um, we looked at the price of it. It was like some car lot, you know, it wasn't even it was a dealer. But, you know, it was like a, you know, you know, crappy dealer type of thing. And they wanted like twenty three thousand, I think it might have been for it, which was way too much for me in high school. And um, the the one I wanted was my brother's friend. Um, he went to West Point and he had bought a Carmen Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, and um, I wanted that son of a bitch so bad, but he didn't sell it to me. He still needed it when I needed my car. But I, I actually, I don't even think I would have been able to afford the Carmen Ghia, to be honest. Okay, wow, well, I was just up there. Did I just get this quest? I must have just got this quest. I don't remember those popping up. Those are new. Jeez, and I've been through all those areas. I think they wanted me to walk through here and do this early on in the game, and I didn't. I went, like, up here and then across here, then did this stuff, then went across here. Then the, like, I went a completely backwards way. The, um,
the Nissan. You're talking about the Nissan Skyline? Is that what I'm thinking of? The precursor to the GTR? That That's basically the precursor to the GTR, right? I mean, I know about cars, but I don't know. I don't remember. Because I'll tell you this right now. I would love a freaking Nissan GTR. That's one of my favorite um, cars. Is like, for the price, for the performance type thing, I don't think it can be beat. I'm not going to bother with them right now. Is this up or down? Oh, blights. Ooh. That's just going to get me too. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. But but that's that's what I meant. I meant that's the er like before they, that was, Skyline was the GTR before they kind of got, before GTR got rid of the Skyline name. I like all the GTRs, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I remember when I was going back, uh, a guy had an older, uh, uh, older uh, Skyline. And I was, I was sitting there, uh, we were, it was kind of a traffic jam going through Houston. So when I was going back to Fort Worth from one weekend and he had his older skyline, early two thousands. And, uh, I was in my Nissan, my little Nissan juke, uh, Nismo RS. And, um, he looked over to me and smiled and like gave me a thumbs up. It was kind of cool. I think, I think I'm going to use this one. Uh, I like the Subarus too, actually. God oh, damn it. I've been a good one. Those guys rocked me when I first got on this planet. Because if they get close, then I think they start spitting out like corrosion shit. Yeah, this looks like it's up though. Not, maybe there are stairs to it. That one worked out. That was a. They were far enough away for the. The spin up didn't matter, which is good. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. No, I'm not going to remember. There was something I wanted to drop in somewhere, but now I don't remember. I really don't know what you would do on the... Ah, eh, screw it. I'm not gonna sit there and... Does this... Oh shit, it does. What the hell am I doing? Oh, 
What the hell, brah? I need to get that to 150. I haven't been paying much attention to it because I haven't ran into that much trouble. Oh, that leads back around. Okay. Yeah, I never, um, I mean, I didn't mind M uh, BMWs. I liked them. Um, but I was never like, I never like really wanted one or anything like that. I had a friend that had an old 318, I think it was a 318i or something like that. <coughs> that was not a good BMW. <clears throat> Just to give you a heads up. Yeah, and I think, you know, because of that, I was like, and and I'll tell you the reason why I got it. I, I make fun of him almost to this day was back in that time period in the 80s. Um, I don't know if you know the director, John Hughes, but he's like, he's a huge impact during the 80s with teen movies and just stuff like that. I love him as a director. Like, he's probably the movies. I watched more of his movies so many times. But anyway, he's, like, real fashionable, like, certain movies, like Pretty in Pink and and um, those types of movies. And that style of BMW was in one of the movies. I can't remember which one. And my buddy saw that and wasted all his money uh oh so you is that so you want that style with the hatchback fastback style that well this facility is currently experiencing a heightened security event. yeah accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase please speak the passphrase um yeah, that's so. That's a different story. Oh, you're wanting that style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will agree with you. I like that style more than I like the other one. Error. Passphrase okay, not can't get in there. Please speak the passphrase. So, yeah, I got you now. But, I mean, that movie and that chasing, if you didn't want a, a Mustang Fastback at that point, <laughs> something was wrong with you. Honestly, something was wrong. Stinks like the wrong end of a primal, and I think I'm close to figuring out why. Something's off of this place. Those ain't normal primals. Thought I was onto something before. Now I'm sure of it. I got a theory to test at that Marauder camp. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. The Mazda, the RX-7, when it, so you got to realize too, like all those cars back in the day, like all those Japanese cars and stuff, um, when they were coming out, uh, weren't real popular in America, at least, you know, America was doing their stupid shit, you know, blaming 
whatever. And um, mm. like the dots in 280Z and stuff like that. Um, all those weren't like real popular, but I loved them. Like I loved the old dots in 280Z. I liked um, the Mazda RX-7. Um, yeah, but honestly, the RX-7 old one was probably the size of the MX-7. <laughs> I'm saying like old one. Like everything got bigger as time went on. Like my knee, I had a Nissan Frontier truck. And the first one I got compared to the one I have now, like the one before the generation before my truck, the hard body one was a compact truck. And now you look at a Frontier now and it's closer. I would almost guarantee you to what a full-size truck that the Chevy and Ford was making in the 90s. It's just insane. Like, that's why I didn't, like, I, I'm not a truck person. I'm, I mean, I don't mind full-size trucks, but some of the people here can get ridiculous with them, especially being in Texas. And um, I'm more of a car person. Yeah, I, I, I just don't under like at least here, um, like whenever I visited Europe, and we were in the Netherlands, and we saw their cars. Majority of people were on bicycles, but we saw their cars. We saw a '90s, or it might have been early 2000s Chevy Silverado truck extended cab. To see that thing on those roads in the Netherlands was ridiculous. Like, it looked so big and so out of place compared to all the, all the other cars. And they didn't, it broke down, which was the other funny thing we had. <laughs> it broke down, so we helped the two females push it off to the side of the main road. And uh, the, um, the tow truck couldn't even tow it. Yeah, and, and there's a there's a like I mean, I get some of them, but like if you live like if you're a farmer, you're farming, um you're pulling stuff, you're doing that stuff, I get it. Um but majority of them don't need to be four doors. They don't need to be, you know, jacked up. They don't, you know, there's a lot of things they don't need to be. When I was growing up, you know, the only people that drove trucks were were uh, blue collar workers like my dad. And my dad had a regular truck, not extended cab, and it was a sharp bed. And that's how he, you know, his whole life he drove that thing. My friend's dad was an electrician. He had an LTD2, a car. He didn't even have a truck. <laughs> oh i could have put that in there just to let you know greg i could have put that that's what she said it's in the uh damn i don't have it in it but it, it's an overlay that uh that you could actually you could actually put in there and it has like steve carell pops up like the other ones do and it goes that's what she said and then it goes away <laughs> Yeah, that would have been perfect timing. No, no, I don't have it listed though. I didn't list it in my um in my um stuff. You want you want to do something real look, hang on. Give me a second.
Let's see if we can do this. Um, Okay, see if it popped up on the in that section. Now I don't make these. These are all made and you can just grab them. Is it available? Yeah, yeah, it's available. It's on the, uh, in the about, you know how you did the other about section? Like if you go to the, um. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of neat. I could like, cause what I'm using is one like overlay over that section. And then all I have to do is signal the ones I want to use. And then it just uses that generic or general overlay. Um, and then Lumia stream uh, ties it all together. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait, let me, I was going to use, let me use this one. Yeah, see, it, it, it's not near as hard. Oh, my God. I don't like the way it comes out of Zoom. After they're killed. Oh my God, I missed him. That's horrible shooting. Well, well, you gotta keep him. Yeah, it's actually, to be honest, I was using this one. But the DPS is more, but the damage, see the one damage is 342. And then whenever I was playing Kim, Kaju Kim, uh, she mentioned that she use, actually uses the hunting rifle. So I paid attention and closer to it. And it's although it's less DPS, the damage is more, 365. So it's not just the sniper, the sniper rifle, but also, if you notice, I didn't kill them one shots when I was standing up. I do it whenever I'm sneaking, and that's because um, I have a thing for sneaking, and I have Naoki with me, and she has um, she has a twenty percent sneak attack damage, and then in my character, I have a perk or I have something that's. Um, a sneak attack damage so the the one shots are happening because i'm sneaking but the second that's over with i usually have to change weapons but those guys with me are are badass so like felix and her 
They just wreck shit. They're so powerful with their DPS. Watch. I'll show you what theirs is. This is 322, uh, 3,250 DPS. And she is 2,350 DPS. Both with different ones. One's a shock and one's a plasma. So they just, they kind of wreck shit. something this is really bad that's only that's the bad thing about streaming is that you forget what it's been a while you kind of forget what the f are you doing in here Oh, hello, Brad. Am I sneaking? Yeah. There more? Yeah, no, so they, they wreck it. <laughs> Oops, something's up there. Wait, oh, is this where I... You doing all right, Brad? How do you like Mafia? Didn't you say you were going to start Mafia? I've been up here. Oh, yeah, I have been up here. I know where this is. Already been. Already been here. Why is it telling me I have I've discovered something new? Are you enjoying it? You liking it? Are you playing? Which one are you playing? Mafia. The first one. First one. Um, so the plan is why's my uh, thing blinking? Oh, wow. I need to repair this. Um, I don't know. I don't know of any games like that that are in my queue. I know I plan on playing uh, Sherlock, The Awaken. They redid it. I don't think it's that long of a game, though. I don't think it's like Chapter 1 was kind of a decent uh, time. I don't think this one's near as long. That's what I was planning on playing next. Whenever I'm done with this one, but I still have to do the, the I'm still on the first DLC of this one, and then I got to do the second DLC and do the very last scene. Um, but I don't, yeah, I don't know any games that are like that 
right now. I wasn't. I'm not sure what I'm playing after that though. On the reawaken, I know stuff was sad, but I can't remember what I said. I think I mentioned Hitman playing Hitman. But yeah, I'd have to look at like I have on like a list. Ooh. Bruh. Um, I'm gonna pause that for a second. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I just, I just wished it was longer. Actually, both games, I wish they were longer. But I don't know if I, I, I like, I have like the list of the games that in my library that I'm thinking of streaming and then um, I'll put, I have a separate tag on them called own deck, meaning that's the ones I'm going to probably play next. And um, I can't remember what I had sitting on deck. I know I had the awaken on Sherlock Holmes and I, I think I had Hitman. But I don't think I had, I don't even know if I have any similar to that. Uh, or I will, I mean, to be honest, I could play the Mafia 3 one, but I don't have that one. They are coming out with a Mafia 4, though. I don't know if you know that. Me and Bim were talking about that. I think they're coming out with a Mafia 4. I'm not sure when it's coming out. I do, but it's just basic. I have a website just like, um, you know, I think it's uh, shit. I can't even remember the last time I went to it because, you know, it's just, it's just, it's real basic. Just telling you, you know, all my links and stuff and basically what you read in the about here and on YouTube. Nothing major. And it's, I think, jsogaming dot the dot com is the is the website name. Yeah, I have all that stuff, but I'm horrible about like doing anything with it. Like I had a TikTok thing, and then I stopped using the TikTok because I wasn't even using the Instagram. Either like I had TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. And it was just more stuff for me to like keep track of when I'm not really using it. The Twitter one, I've posted maybe a couple of things on there. It'll post like um like when I go live. Like I don't post much uh, that much other stuff on there. Um But, yeah, I mean, I have a little, I have the stuff, I just don't really, like, utilize it probably like I should. Yeah, all my all my links and stuff are like if you're ever wanting to know, they're all on this page. This is up top. Oop. They already been here. Couldn't get into this place. Oh, what's over there? Oh wow, walk right past this. You better show me how you did that.
Let me go back in here. I'll see this in here. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Yeah, I already been in here. Oh. Yeah, you might be asking yourself, why are you running here when you have a fast travel? And I will tell you, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm running here. What are they? 32? Wah, wow, wah, wow, wah. Wow. Well, we know where that one, where this is going. Wait, wait, this is 278 DPS, 347. What's the? Oh, I know why. Never mind. Don't get all excited. I know y'all got excited. The DPS and all that shit goes down whenever the. This is at what, 19%? I remember the first time I did it, I replaced it. I replaced it, beefed up this one, and then for science, repaired this one, and it brought it back up to exactly what I wasted all the materials on. Um... <laughs> uh. But I wonder what the difference is in this. This is pristine. I actually don't know what the difference is. On these. This is a special helmet. Oh, it's a heavy with stealth, stealth skill bonus. Usually there's a deduction on it. Oh, I'm keeping that one. Okay. Um, so much adrenaline time. Oh. Hi, right, Brad. I appreciate you stopping by, even if it's for a little bit. Have a good night, man. I didn't realize I had that weapon on me. Okay, now I got to figure out. I can't get in the hair. I guess let me do this one. These. 
Wait, that one's different than this one? Donald, dead man. These are all. All right. We got to do this. We've been killing this shit, but we haven't done any. Oh, wait, it's right here. Okay, never mind. Oh. I did. I picked up this. Picked up this earlier. Damn it. be fighting right when we zoom in if somebody tries to dock you that just means you're on the right track okay yeah i know where this oh it's up there Figure out a way to get up there. Shit. How do I get up there? I'm not going to bend this way. Oh, shit. Come back. See that one. Well, this is a bit over the top, don't you think? Laying down traps is one thing, but this is just rude. Sure, we're not gonna get a surprise. Looks like an observatory to me. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get jumped. Good thing I'm. When does a man become marauder? People talk about them as if they've transformed, like they've mutated. I see it in the Aether Wave broadcasts, read it in the papers. But beneath their masks, they're only people. Dangerous people with a terrible illness, but people still. When we call a man a marauder, have we given up on him? How do we know when he's become one? How can you decide to give up on someone? Have I... Have I given up on Harvey? Who does this suffering serve, I wonder? Spacer's choice? All right, give me one second. I'll be right back.
taken in the scenery. Okay. We call them marauders. Like they have some kind of group identity. They don't. The name was coined in Edgewater, I think. One of the towns first hit by the Adrena time crisis. A lonely spacer's choice outpost on the edge of a barren sea. A prime place for the company to test a disastrous new product. When the town started fraying at the edges, hardly anyone else in the colony noticed. Just like Lucian planned. I read the reports. Every missing person. Every unexpected death. A town already teetering on the edge, and Adrena time shoved it off a cliff. So hmm. Quick save. That's what I wanted to do. Let me make sure I get out everything first. This is okay. I can't get in there. Can't get in this one. Can't get in this one. And I haven't tried that one. Nothing leads me down there, right? Is 
this at? Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be better. I wish I understood. The wrench thing. What are these three notches for? I really need to. Okay. Um, I need to go to, I need to get to a workbench. Let's do that one real quick. Go to this workbench and then I'm gonna go do that one real quick. I finished one quest that I didn't even realize was on. this stuff I've been here. Where's that? That has me leaving, I think. Oh, I can take that down to go over here. Repair.
the machine room. Oh god, that could back over there, isn't it? God. Damn it. Oh well. Oh, I need to change that. Oh, not that one, that one. over there and go down. Sometimes that happens where it pops. They brought manosaurs with them? The hell's wrong with these people? Are these manosaurs? Never seen the likes of these. Oh, I don't, yeah, the, I never went this way yet. I went with this way. Terror on Monarch, where Spencer Woolrich gets buried alive. As much as I love caves, let's make this quick. Mantis love them too. Oh, shit. Just getting started. 
Health not even a worry. Their health. Of course, mine's not. Something in the back. Like a big wolf. Something popped again. I don't know what those researchers were doing in here, but I'm glad they stopped. I finished that one. After his run in with Abba, the dancing queen. Oh, unlock the secrets. This is a mega ice queen. It's kind of ugly, but we killed, we killed them. Got to have good stuff, right? Tractor and transport fox.
Oh boy, boy, they got some heavy weapons. This one. I figured the mines were gonna be trouble. Didn't think they'd be crawling with mance. Must have gotten out of HIA a while ago. They've been busy here. Something about the tunnels here gets under your skin and into the worst parts you of your head. Feeling there's something horrible waiting for you just around the corner. I don't make it out of here. Marauders. Must have followed me from OCI. Time to make tracks while the mats are busy. I'm shedding some extra weight. It's yours if you find it. Whoever you are. You need it more than I do now. the stuff that was over here, yes, and there they are. time that time we yeah vision down on stellar bay you read my mind bench black sun on the water we squinting like like teeth swallow us whole that sky <laughs> <laughs> The rock. It's whispering, Benj. Yeah, you hear it too. Wants me to crawl. Crawl down deep. Let the beast consume Benji. Can't, can't hear you. You're breathing. Ben? Ben? All right. Let's see. There's the secret hideout. I'm going to, um, I'm going to fast travel back over to here. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Um, I'm just going to sell some stuff and put some points in. Points in my stuff. But um, thanks for stopping by, hanging out. I appreciate you watching. 
Um, I'll pick this back up Tuesday and we'll continue on. Have a good night and adios. See y'all later.